Every year, millions of people worldwide are infected with vector-borne diseases, diseases spread by mosquitoes, sandflies, ticks, and rodents. Europe is at increased risk for such diseases. Such were the initial findings of an ECDC-led risk assessment on vector-borne diseases in Europe, presented today at ECDC in Stockholm. We had uh, the emergence of chikungunya transmission last year in Italy. And you know, chikungunya is transmitted by the tiger mosquito, but it used to be a tropical fever, which has been actually established in the EU last year. And other diseases may be established in the same way. That's why we conducted that review. There are three key factors included in this analysis. First, environmental factors, climate change, but also land cover change, more forests, more agricultural land. The second factor is socio-economical changes. People change their behaviors, more free time or different ways of working. And third, the last factor is the global village factor, where people travel around the world in 24 hours and they can catch a disease or any disease or insects can travel with these planes or, or, or ships. The main findings of the assessment is that important diseases like dengue or chikungunya can occur in Europe and we must be prepared to deal with, with these diseases. So we need to, Im, to uh, implement disease surveillance network to, to have a good idea of the situation and to have a general view at the European level so that we can make recommendations for people to avoid the risk of being infected. We need to make sure that we have the capacity to diagnose them, that the physicians are aware of that possibility, that the laboratory have the tests to do it, and that the public health uh, officials in charge of responding to it have protocols to do that.